some regional heavy network in all the regions of Moldova. Uh, thus, we try to uh, help uh, and to assist other regional organizations. And um, uh, in this uh, background, we have uh, um, view all the situation around the civil society around all the Moldova. Um, so, and um, as a part of our uh, help to our organization is, of course, uh, uh, the trainings in the fundraising, and um, that's why we uh, try to do it because uh, in Moldova uh, we have um, the frame of legal framework. It's not work for um, fundraising for some um, um, fundraising activities. Uh, we have not this uh, law of one person, two person, so we try to now to promote this law, but we have not any facilities for uh, uh, economical agent uh, to do something or to donate uh, money. Um, and uh, an increasing concurrence among the graphic organizations, and very struggle to obtain funding from local and ex or external sources. Um, uh, <coughs> Uh, Moldova and NGO are very um, dependent on external donors and uh, now um, it's um, help uh, ha happen uh, as well with contact center because contact center was was uh, established was founded by Soros Foundation um, and um, in uh, next last year we received a letter okay we we are not uh, your founders uh, you are now your independent organization as you want you can do and uh, we were dependent from other from don from grants which we receive from Soros Foundation okay we have a good reputacy and uh, we resist this uh, um, with affirmation from Soros <coughs> Um, as well as another problem, and you do not have knowledge and skills needed to identify international donors, such as European Commission and international development programs, uh, agency of donor countries government, uh, and the uh, public association do not have real opportunity and favorable legal framework, as I, uh, as, as I told, to develop economic activities that uh, would ensure effective self-management. Uh, so, and um, the sources of income of Moldova and NGOs are just 3% economic activities, 5% uh, governmental sources, and 21% uh, others, and 71% uh, it's uh, external help, it's external donors, and international ask, donors. Yeah. How, how did you search for this data? <coughs> uh, it's, um, we do some studies. Okay of independent uh, experts and then first to this uh, data mm -hmm. and external donors means outside Moldova yeah outside mm -hmm. Moldova but they it's have uh, some some yeah some of uh, them have offices in uh, Moldova or maybe Bucharest like Lexi Trust maybe a United Nations <coughs> they have in Moldova but it's international <coughs> USID and so on mm -hmm. and um, the sources of income of a job from yeah from other countries uh, for the comparison uh, it's um, oh it's Romania oh sorry uh, mm -hmm. so uh, this part is uh, income from uh, services uh, this uh, part is uh, public uh, public donations and. Um, this part is uh, private donation, so it's it's completely different from Moldova. Uh, during the last year, uh, we in this context during the last year we organized the trainings of fundraising, financial stability, diversification of financial resources, financial management and viability, uh, sessions on elaboration of fundraising strategies for other uh, organizations as well as for. Uh, representatives of uh, local uh, authorities because they as well need some money to do something for communities 
And uh, the topic into which we work during our uh, trainings are the following for rights of a non governmental organization, types of financial support, and there are some, um, some subtopics, uh, types of uh, funds, and of course, um, according to our background, we uh, pay most attention to um, international programs and um, individual donors, corporate donors. Uh, less uh, popular in, uh, in Moldova methods used in the fundraising, creation of partnership for fundraising, fundraising strategies, legislation, transparency, and uh, a special attention in pay of ethical principles of in uh, fundraising. So on the results, uh, participants uh, uh, understand the uh, importance of fundraising because most of um, uh, Moldova NGOs may not have a, um, clearly strategy for fundraising. They uh, didn't know uh, about fundraising, for what it helps, how uh, they do. And we start from the, just from, from the, what, what it means fundraising. And we belong to some strategies and we try to um, enforce them to elaborate and to do like in, like in the strategies. Uh, so they have a chance to some experience exchange. Uh, they build new partnership which will facilitate the process of sharing of good practices in fundraising which will uh, which will come below. Participants uh, distribute materials the database of uh, active donors, um, and um, which we elaborate in the <coughs> contact center, and uh, findings. In um, uh, last year, we um, trained 150 NGOs in fundraising. We developed with uh, the organization uh, 50 uh, fundraising strategies uh, for uh, 2000. For the next three years, not more, and um, uh, the rate of legitimate expectation appreciated by participants, you see, and uh, we appreciate this rate uh, by um, uh, by the questionnaires which we distribute, and after that, uh, after some uh, period of uh, okay, it's, it's just last uh, year. Uh, for half a an year, and uh, we just call them, and we how we appreciate now the results. Okay, not the trainings uh, just ended, but the results which uh, have some uh, months and have some duration. Can I just have you said a list of active donors <coughs> in Moldova? Is there something like that? Uh, list the one the yeah, slide back. List of active donors. Yeah, this we do we do it. Database of active donors in Moldova. That's wonderful. Is there something like that? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's Individuals or yeah. donors? Oh, institution. Institution. Donors. Institution donors and yeah, um, yeah international missions yes. uh, which uh, okay. can sustain some projects and can give some grants. Yeah. Okay. So it's not individuals. No. 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 Just the international missions, international organization donors. Mm -hmm. How do you fundraise for yourself? Um, we have some. Uh, okay, some of uh, these trainings we do um, according to some projects. Uh, now we we have a project financed by USAID, and uh, there was some of these uh, strategies which we de developed in organization. It was in. Uh, um, it was written in the project, so it's uh, this training is what's uh, for free. <coughs> and uh, but uh, actually, we do some uh, pro some uh, strategies, we elaborate some strategies for for, my, uh, for free. And um, we do some trainings. Uh, we uh, and we gain some money from trainings, uh, as well as we have a lot of uh, projects, as well as from international organization, European Commission, or. or UNTP, USID. But it's for a small organization, it's very difficult, for example, to uh, apply for a grant from USID because USID have no um, such uh, a credency in uh, small organizations.